Hey songwriters, welcome to the songwriting studio and in today's video I want to show you how to chop up vocals for your electronic and pop productions. This is so fun and really it's not that complicated. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in GarageBand, so let's dive in. All right, so we are inside of an electronic song that a friend Karen and I wrote together and I want to show you four different places within the bridge that we used vocal chopping to create some really cool and dynamic melodies. So I'll hit play and let you listen through it first and then we'll go back and address each part and show you how we did it. four different spots where I'm chopping vocals so I want to take you through each one of those and show you how to do it. The first spot is here within the first line of the bridge. So I'm going to expand this project so you can see it a little bit closer. So what I've done is simply taken her original line which was this and I actually chopped it up and cut out little pieces of it to create a stutter. Cut, 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 cut. So now if I solo that, you can hear it. So all you have to do is, if we have that original project, or original take, I would hit Command T, and then I was hitting Command T each step of the way that I wanted a stutter, and then just taking out points within that. So which creates a stutter effect. So that's not exactly how I did it. I'll go back to the original look like that. So essentially I'm cutting off little bitty parts to create a dot 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 da and then holding that last line. I'll play it one more time. And you can hear a little bit of clicking and popping because I'm chopping right into the middle of a vocal line but in the context of the song you actually can't hear it. But if you really think you can then you can obviously use fades or even automation to cut out those little clips. So let's move to the next spot. Here is our second spot, and I'm going to hit play on that with just the vocals. So, a lot going on here. Number one, we've chopped off one line, and number two, I have a little sliver of a line that I simply chopped off. I'm going to zoom in on this. And all I did was make it a little bitty piece, and then I looped it a bunch of times to create a brrr, a real tiny stutter on that. So grrr, right there in the middle. And then this last line, this might trip you out a little bit, but if you go into the edit window, click on region, you can see I have this transposed eight semitones. If I bring this down back to zero, you might discover... That's not Karen. That was my voice. I was trying out some vocal lines in this song, but then when I pitched it up, eight semitones, it really had this nice effect, which I liked a lot, so I kept it in there. It creates that almost Alvin the Chipmunk cool-like texture in there. So how did I get these notes in here? Well, this note right here was simply a line that was sung earlier in the song, I believe it was part of the chorus, and I just pared down this one little part that I wanted where she kind of bends a note, then I found this note and added my own note to create that full. So you can go through your current existing vocals, look for a specific note that you're looking for, or just start chopping it up and testing notes out. I didn't get to this conclusion immediately. It was a lot of tinkering, a lot of pray, uh, playing around, a lot of praying, and trying to figure out, hey, what sounds best here? And this is what I landed on. So spot number three is here where we have kind of a melodic line going on. So what I did is basically the same thing. I took other places in the song. I was looking for specific notes, E, E, A, O, and I was listening for when does she sing that note? And when I found that note somewhere else in the song, I clipped it off, 
brought a little section in here and created almost this lead melody line out of those notes. Behold, behold, he's coming. And I really like it. Then the last spot is this part right here before we get back into the final chorus. So it's just a high speed stutter and I've taken the end of this audio clip, I clipped it off into a little bitty section and then again I rolled it out using the loop tool. So in context, it just kind of leads nicely out of the bridge and into the last chord. So there you go. And this, guys, isn't going to happen instantly, but if you tinker around, grab other vocal lines, switch their pitch up, you can even play out melody lines on your keyboard or hum them in your head and try and find notes within the performance that will match that or pitch shift notes within that performance to match the melody you have in your head. So this is Dean from the Songwriting Studio. I hope this is helpful. I hope it's really exciting for you because it was really exciting for me to discover this stuff a couple years back and I've been using it ever since. Dive in there, get you some vocal lines, pitch shift, chop them up, whatever you've gotta do, tinker, tamper, and have some fun with it. I'll see you in the next video.